Hi there Ford owners. Today in your 2019 Ford F-150, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install DZ's Rough Step running boards. And this is what our running boards are going to look like when they're installed. Now these ones aren't the flashiest looking running boards, but they are definitely the most rugged. On top, we have serrated edges that go all the way across the top that will allow your shoes to dig in to ensure that you get good traction. And with there being passed through holes all throughout, dirt, debris, and moisture is just going to fall off your shoes and get right down in there. These are really ideal if you have a work truck and you're wanting to put it on there. It's a nice large wide step, so it's great for your work boots. And you get muddy shoes and stuff, you could easily just scrape them off on here. And this is an easy way to get your boots nice and clean before you get in the truck. A hose can simply wash this right off and you're back to where you started. I also find that these are going to be a more durable step than many of the competitors because they are made of aluminum, which keeps it lightweight, minimizing the impact it puts on your load on your vehicle, but also ensuring that it's going to be resistant against rust and corrosion. But DZ took it one step further and used their no rust technology black powder coat finish on it to ensure that no corrosion occurs and you have a nice looking step for many years to come. Now, I'm a pretty tall person. I have a size 13 shoe, but with the seven inch wide step, I can easily fit most of my foot on the step as I'm getting in and out. With some of your smaller, rounder tube steps, when I'm getting in and out, a lot of times I can barely get my foot on there and I'm almost wanting to slide off. But with these and the serrated edges on top, I get plenty of grip and traction, making it easy to step in and out. Another thing I really like is how easy they are to install on your F-150. With there being studs already underneath the vehicle, I was able to get both sides installed in less than about a half an hour. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go over the installation together so you can have the confidence to do it at home. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by installing our mounting brackets. You'll receive six brackets in your kit, three for each side, and we'll have two different styles. You'll receive two of the bracket that you see here on my right. These are your front mounting brackets, and you'll receive four of the ones that I have here on the left. These are your middle and rear mounting brackets. We'll start by putting the front one on. We're on the driver's side behind the front tire. There is a set of studs here directly behind the tire, but we're gonna be using the ones just behind those. Our bracket will line up with the stud on the bottom as well as one further up here. We'll then use the locking nuts that come in the kit and just loosely secure this bracket. If we go rearward from our front bracket, we'll find another set of studs. That's where we're gonna place our middle bracket. And then if we continue on again, we'll have a third set of studs and that's for our rear bracket. The middle and rear brackets install exactly the same. You just simply slide them over the studs and then secure it loosely with the included locking nuts. With all these brackets loosely installed, we can take our running board and we're just gonna set it into position on top there. It's held in place using these brackets here that clamp it to our brackets that we pre-installed already. We'll take these brackets, they're gonna go up to the bottom, you'll give them a little twist, and they'll set on the lips here on the bottom. Slide it over, and then we'll line it up with our brackets that we pre-installed. The slotted holes here in our bracket that we had pre-installed to the truck that are towards the center, not the very center round hole, but the slotted ones on each side. We'll place our hardware up through there and into the round hole on the flat bracket. We'll take the black bolts that come in our kit, slide a flat washer on it. We're then gonna go up through that slotted hole into the round hole. And on top, we're going to follow that up with another flat washer and a nut. We're then gonna repeat that for the hole on the other side of our bracket here, just right over here. And then once we get that one in, we're gonna repeat the same process for the other two brackets. We are leaving everything loose at this time. We're just tightening it down hand tight so that way we can easily adjust it around to make sure all of our hardware lines up. Once we get everything loosely installed, then we can go back and line everything up properly. We can now go back and start tightening down our hardware. We're gonna start with the brackets that we installed on the truck. We'll use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten these down. We can then tighten down the hardware that holds our step to the brackets. At this point though, before you tighten it down, you want to adjust it forward or backward to whatever suits your needs. We're centering ours pretty close between the front and rear door seams. This hardware will tighten down with 11 millimeter socket and wrench. We'll then prepare our end caps now. Your end caps will have a 
C-shaped bracket like this. That'll fit in this slot. And then you'll have another clamp strap that'll go on the bottom. Found that it's a little easier if you just pre-assemble it. So we're just gonna take the same bolts. These ones come with your step kit as well as the end caps. You'll find that in the box with your steps. Place a washer on the bolt, slide it through. We're gonna be using the round holes. Place a, another flat washer on the other side and then finish that up with a nut. We're just gonna leave it loose. Do the same thing on the other hole over here. On the other side. And then we can slide our bracket on. Kinda line it up with the edges. And then using your 11 millimeter socket and wrench, we're just gonna tighten this one down just like we did the rest of our hardware. At this point, I kinda like to line everything up and then just snug it down. We'll then repeat the exact same process over on the other side. And that completes our installation of DZ's Rough Stuff running boards on our 2019 Ford F-150.